Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Glessner here. This is an activity for my kindergarten students to go along with one of the drawings in your packet number two. You're going to see my hands drawing just like you do in art class when we're at school. So this should be a little bit familiar to you. We're going to start the hand drawing. So I'm going to put the hand that I don't write with on my paper and I can position it wherever I want it. I can keep my fingers open or closed. I think I'm going to keep mine open for this drawing. So I'm going to put my hand right in the center of my paper. And with my pencil, I'm going to hold it as straight up and down as I can. And I'm going to try not to wiggle my fingers as I'm tracing. Now my hand is a little bit bigger than yours. So you're going to see mine almost touches the edge of the paper. Now, when I've gotten the whole way around, I'm going to lift my hand, and then I have this little empty spot here. I could either put my hand back and trace my arm, or maybe I just want to connect those lines. So that you can see this a little bit better, what I sometimes do for you in class is trace it with a black marker. So that's how we're going to finish this drawing today. You're going to see me drawing with the black marker. You can do that or you can use your pencil. So now that I have gotten almost the whole way around, now we're going to follow the next direction for this project, which is to draw five of your favorite things inside your hand. So we can think about maybe our favorite foods, our favorite animal, your favorite sport, your favorite t-shirt. So five things that can fit in here. Do you think we should draw them really tiny or do you think we should try and draw them big enough that we can see the details? Let's see. See if you can guess what one of my favorite foods is. What's it going to be? If you guessed ice cream, you were right. You can add lots of details. Maybe I want chocolate chip ice cream, so I'm going to put some chocolate chips in there. Now that one's big enough that you can still see the details. If yours is too tiny, we sometimes talk about this in art class. If you can cover up most of your drawing with your thumb, it might be too little for you to color later on. So I have one thing done. I need four more things. I could keep making my favorite foods, but I think I'm going to try and draw something else. Let's see if you can guess what my favorite animal is. You know, we have a little cat. So I still have lots of room. I can draw in the fingers. I can draw in the thumb. I think I'm going to draw up here. I'm going to draw one of my favorite kinds of art supplies. So I have a paintbrush with some paint on the end. Maybe I should make a little splotch of paint down here. So one, two, three, three things. I need to draw two more. Maybe my favorite sport. And we don't have to draw the whole thing if we can't fit it. Maybe if I draw half of it, you can still see what it's going to be. So you can tell from the stitching that that is a baseball. Maybe down here, oh, up in here. Let's see if you can guess what this is. This is a craft activity that I like to do at home. I have a needle and thread. Maybe I'll make my thread come the whole way down here. And maybe I'll even draw the thread, the spool of thread. 
So if you know somebody who likes to sew, you would be used to seeing some of that stuff. So now that I have five objects, I can either choose to fill in my extra space, or maybe I want to design something outside of here, or we can start coloring this. If you have crayons or colored pencils or markers or even paint at home, this would be good to use. So I think maybe I'll start coloring some of this. You can color just the shapes. You can color the whole hand. You can make it a silly color. Maybe you want it to be striped inside of there. Maybe you want to color more in the background, make a whole scene. That's up to you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching our drawing demonstration for today. Check back on the Maple Ridge YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.